This is Janet Jekyll Bates, except there's no Jekyll Bates, there's no Bates at all, and that's a canvas. So we are after hours, it is about, uh, yeah, five, between, uh, let's say it's eight after nine. So it's 2108 if you're on military time, and tonight we're going to be doing some acrylic pouring as um, as a response to an overwhelming demand from a lot of subscribers so that's pretty cool gives me a chance to get a little bit out of the uh, norm of the realm of things that i normally produce and i get to have fun and be an artist so let's get to it these are not expensive paints at all but they are fun and if you use the right pouring medium glue and latex extender you can have a lot of fun with them these paints will go a long way it's an 8 by 10 canvas it's pre-stretched it's 100 percent cotton it is a blick studio level two let's look at our colors we have a flamingo coral a wild iris key west and an apricot that's pretty fun. I think we can make something really good out of that. It's a four color pour with white, so white makes it five. That's not a pouring medium, but it has been poured and we're going to have some fun. So stick around. Let's get started. Let's make something cool tonight. These got stirred up for about 20 minutes and I'm going to show them to you without any of the XIM extender because I know you guys like to see this stuff as well so if you're looking at consistency it's a little thick but even without any anything except for the glue and the paint you're still getting ribbons it's a little bit thick so we're, we are going to go ahead and add this extender in there and then we're ready to start pouring pretty much got all these colors mixed up right now we'll go back to the purple with you guys this wild iris there's your consistency nice ribbon little mound on a mound And to each of them, except for the white, we have added 100% silicone in treadmill. This is a little bit thinner, but it's, it should be fine. And one thing that I, I got to mention, because I know it's been an issue with a lot of folks that use this type of paint, it's staying true to its color. I can already see some cells starting to pop and if this looks anything like the little sneak peeks that I'm getting along the edges here this is gonna be really cool now this is way 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 too much paint I probably could have gotten away with half of the layers that I did I just want to have fun. plus apple barrel the paints the little bottles that I had it's 50 cents 50 cents a bottle you just can't go wrong with that and I think per capita per per ounce the XIM is probably about a third of the cost of glue as well glue is much less expensive so we are pretty much at the stage where this needs to just come off and be happy I know my table's level. Let's see what we make tonight. Wow, that's a lot of paint. That's really cool, though. I don't know if you guys can see 
any of that. there. It's pretty cool. So one of the things that I want to do that I haven't done yet, not because I'm afraid of it, but just I haven't pulled the trigger on it, is resin. I want to do tabletops. I want to get this level of cool with resin on a tabletop. Wouldn't it be great for like a bar or a restaurant? I think it would be awesome. Wow, these cells are going crazy. And we barely have any, like I think I did one or two drops, two drops maybe. And this is certainly coming off. Wow, that's so cool. Do you guys want to see this as it is before I tilt it or do anything with it? Let me show this to you. I love it. That, I think this is beautiful as it is. And the paint load is too much on it. We have to tilt some of this stuff off, but... I think it's beautiful. And it looks like the yellow has not taken over. Oh, you guys can see that. You guys can pretty well see that. So let's um let's give you a little bit of a close up and pull this back for you guys just a little bit. Sorry for the vibration. So I really like what's happening here with the blues and the purples. This, this whole thing is just really starting to come together. This is neat. All right, we're going to tilt this because that needs to happen. There's some edging that I'm not real fond of. I'm not sure about this part right here. So we're going to try and slide that off. Let's slide that stuff. Then we'll torch it. Let me bring you back down. All right. Let's see how this turns out. I'm just going to move some stuff around. I definitely have enough for another canvas. paint load on this. Let's um yeah, let's do it this way. And let's bring it back. We'll bring it down here. We'll roll off of that. And then <laughs> Look at my hand, that's awesome. Slowly, slowly, slowly. These cells are almost too big. It's okay though. We're gonna catch this. Got my cup hands out. and then we're just going to go ahead and torch. I really like this bit right here. I'm going to try and not lose that. But I like what's popping up on the other side, which is what I liked in the first place when I saw it. Come on. Okay. I think we're okay with that. Very 1960s. I mean, very 1960s. Uh, this would be cool as is. I like it. That's kind of neat, too. Cells are showing up on my gloves. But I'm going to get a clean pair of these. You always want to be mindful and not 
drip stuff. You take the gloves off to the side. Try and keep them inside out so you don't get a whole bunch of dripping on the floor on the way to your trash can. Next thing I want to do just in a couple of spots here because I really like this and I know it's going to continue to grow um, so I don't necessarily want to do a whole bunch to that but This is so flipping cool. This is a really, I mean, like, you, I don't, maybe you're not as excited as I am about this, but I'm really excited about this. I'm kind of popping bubbles, but I don't want to do too much to this. I definitely want to see what rises up for sure, but in the same respect, I don't want to kill this too much. Oh, there's some really cool green stuff coming up in here. in this corner here to see what we've got underneath and I think I'll leave it at that so I'm going to scrape the edges show you what this looks like I'm going to leave this alone in here because I really like this I like that a lot these are beautiful colors I could not have done this better if I tried with any luck, they're going to stay kind of where they're at as this painting continues to stretch and dry. It's going to do that all by itself. Um, I definitely want to scrape the edges and the undersides, and that's not going to be too hard. I want to take the camera down and show you kind of around the painting what's going on. But on a scale of 1 to 10, this is pretty probably an eight plus, maybe an eight five, with cell development. Now, some folks don't like colonies of cells per se. They like little bits here and there. I think this looks cool. I want to know what you guys think about this too. Um, apple barrel paints, folks. This is not that difficult to do as long as you have the right pouring medium. I want to do just a little bit in this. Haven't done anything there. That's cool. What's that uh, wild iris that's popping up underneath the blue? So first of all, and I know a lot of people don't have this consistency, and and this with their apple barrel paints or their folk art. I don't use folk art. Um, I use apple barrel just because it's so cheap. It's so inexpensive. But look at how well these colors have held up. True to what they looked like when we started out. So kudos to, and this is nothing but good pouring medium. That's all that is, folks. This is just really, really good. I love this XIM. It was a mistake. It's one of those happy accidents that happens in the art world when you're like, oh, this is going to be just like Floetrol. It's nothing like Floetrol. Floetrol is thinner than glue, but it has that milky, thick consistency. Not this XIM latex extender. It's thin. It's, it's as light as water. It's the same type of liquidy substance as water. It's just not water. So let me show you what's up with this cell formation. Look at that. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's so flipping cool. I'm just not going to touch anything else on this painting. Look at the look at the multiple rings in that. You've got all the colors 
And then you've got your greens doing the same thing that your orange is doing here. I've got a little bit of play with light here. And I do have, I've got an overhead light that's a bit annoying. I will get better studio lights for this because you guys just keep asking me to do it. So I'm going to keep doing it. But that is it, folks. Look at how pretty this one turned out. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is not a fishing video. This is not a bait video. This is my version of acrylic pouring. And boy, this one sure is cool. You guys take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.